quiet, Mufasa. Woo. I guess so we could do things I can hardly speak. And I lose all control. And then something comes over me. I'm in now. Oh. Want you to stay with me. I swallow my pride. Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Okay, I want y'all to check this out because I think it's really important when we start talking about this mental stuff. There's a, I mean, that Nashville shooter. Audrey Hale had been seeing a doctor for emotional disorders before murdering those three children and those three adults this week. In the latest development to come, one day after Hale, 28 opened fire and killed six at the Covenant School in Nashville, Tennessee. On Monday morning, authorities revealed that she had been suffering from an undisclosed emotional disorder. Okay. And according to the Nashville police, Hale had regularly been under the care of a doctor to treat the illness in the weeks leading up to Monday's shooting. Even more shocking was the revelation that Hale had been secretly collecting weapons before opening fire on the private school. You know, and the worst thing I had to do was eat my... Uh, Thoughts because, you know, women don't usually do stuff like this. I mean, I can think of maybe one person as that chick that went into uh, YouTube, I believe it was. One of these uh, social sites or something and went in there and raised havoc or tried to shoot somebody or did shoot somebody. It's just been so many shootings in America that any sane and rational person would know that we are a country... That is not only on the decline, we down. Anytime all you do is shoot people in your damn country. And you can't go to the store, you can't go to a game, you can't go to the grocery store. You definitely don't feel safe sending your children to school. And y'all think this is normal? This is only dictated by people without souls. If you don't have a soul, you will live like this. Most, I don't care how corrupt a government is. Most of them don't want their baby shot down. That's why I know Mer America is just really, I don't want to say how I really feel it, but this place is so damn a cesspool full of sh shit, for real, for real, that, you know, I mean, can't nothing help it but somebody come down and just uh, destroy. We just so soft and ripe and just waiting for somebody to just pick us off. Because we're too fucking crazy. This is insane. We shoot our babies. And then you got all these uh, mentally ill people that are running around here. And then y'all get mad because somebody talking about a damn drag queen having a drag queen show for kids. What is really going on? I mean, this is so insane. So this person already had been gearing up for her grand finale, you know, and I was already saying, nah, it's, that's a man. Women don't, um, uh, uh, you know, they don't, they, they, they don't act like this. Okay. But as it turned out, she had been hiding several weapons within the house. And as previously reported, Hale entered the school at approximately 10.15 Monday and proceeded to fatally shoot three nine-year-old students at the school as well as a substitute teacher, Cynthia Peak, the school principal, Catherine Kuntz, and the school custodian, Mike Hill. Body cam footage from responding officers released on Tuesday showed that the 
MNPD swiftly responded to the active shooter um, and eventually killed her at 10.27 a.m., roughly 15 minutes after first she first began shooting her, her rampage. I mean, yes, it could have been definitely worse, and I'm, I really commend the police officers. At least they weren't afraid and didn't run out away from her so she could have did more damage. They found a lot of documents. It, this was clearly planned. There was a lot of ammunition, and there were guns. I want to know why she chose that school with some little bitty kids. What a freaking... Listen, I, you know how I get totally upset when he start talking about these children and just how they are so vulnerable and because of adults. The, the, the police department since revealed the hell left behind a manifesto in the car and she had drawn out maps of the school detailing how it was all going to take place. You know, and like I said, which is very unusual because most women don't even do stuff like this. And I want to apologize, excuse my language this morning because I, I, I was just, I'm just so sick of them killing these kids. And kids having to live like this. Never thought about nothing like that when I was in school. Somebody coming in and shooting me down. We don't give a, man, I, look, it's so sad. It's hard to even wrap your arms around that we making, uh, we going to the most gullible uh, people in our society. Like the police go to the gullible people in the society and then we wreak havoc on them as if they have a leg to stand on. They don't have any money because you stole all the wealth. So they can't even defend themselves or, or post bail when they go to jail. And that's just how y'all like it. That's why y'all can park in their neighborhoods and look for bad shit. Yeah, I said it. You know, but when you look at a, a, a list of, uh, let me just change the subject. Uh, notorious female gangsters in the world. Like I said, you don't hardly find a lot. You find a lot, a lot more of these back in the days. But so it don't mean that they are absent. So I'm gonna come back in the next video and I'm gonna talk about some of the females that we had that were underworld gangsters. Um, again, women usually don't commit acts like this, and that's why when they do, it's so shocking. That a woman will go in there and kill some kids. You know. Uh, I don't know, y'all. I, I'm going to see you guys. I want to know what y'all think. Am I am I losing it? Because I didn't come from hell. I'm from heaven. I'm I'm in hell with like the rest of y'all in this craziness. I want to know y'all comments. What y'all think about this madness? Oh, God. I'll see you in the next video. Kids. They kill kids in America.